next guest is a Portuguese TV and film star who's taking on his toughest role yet. He plays Jesus in History Channel's miniseries, The Bible. Take a look. This is our last meal together. One of you here will betray me. What do you want with him? Judas, just talk. Are you the son of God? I am. Please welcome Diego Morgado. Hello. Thank you. Well, Hello. you've cleaned up a little bit since then, haven't you? Yeah, I trimmed <laughs> my beard a little bit and my hair, so I'm all fresh. When you were walking down the street while you were filming this, did you get stopped at all? And did people ever say, oh my God, you look just like Jesus? Not at all. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I mean, I was like, yeah, you, you resemble someone. But it's just, so it's not the thing of like, oh, my God, so it's it's cool. It's Jesus cool. or hippie? It's one of the two, right? <laughs> I mean, that, 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 those are the. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. That's definitely good. All right, so we finally got to see the very first episode. Mm -hmm. um, were you at all concerned that you weren't going to show up until the sequel, much like the Bible itself? <laughs> <laughs> no, I weren't. I, I I was concerned about just uh, hitting it, and it just like you know, for me, it's important that people will w watch it and and just connect with the with the role because it's such an important role. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, this is someone that belongs to so many families and so, and so many people. It's just like in a daily basis. So my concern was just that. No pressure on you at all. No. <laughs> so how did, you, how did you deal? Like, what was the process like of becoming Jesus? It was like, the first thing, it was like I was just uh, trying to approach it like in uh, another role, you know? And, and it, so I started reading everything and, and seeing every other biblical project, and, I, and then I stopped because I realized that this is, this is higher than that. This is not a role. This is a figure uh, that basically changed the world. And then this is a, uh, the most important book of that I know and that we all know, right? So this is... And incredibly is well written. <laughs> the artists would, did a pretty good job. Yeah. I think they were, good, they were on top of things. I think so too. Yeah. Now you shot this in Morocco, right? Yeah. How was that? Hot. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and cold. So desert. Uh, we, we were on the edge of the, of the of Sahara Desert, so it was like extreme. So we, we basically stood there for like four months and uh, in the beginning was just like super cold. So we were just, I was just coming out of the water like, yeah, I'm chilled. Oh. When, when I was not, <laughs> I was just shaking inside. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then we have like this extreme summer. And did, I mean, like a thousand sunblock or how do you deal? Uh, I don't remember, I think. Uh, the, <laughs> you just blanked it all the, out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the summer part was, uh, we, we, we shot a lot of the crucifixion part and a lot of, of the difficult scenes and uh, to be honest with you I, I, I there's a lot of things that I just don't remember it because I have like a flash of what it was and uh, I was I was so into it that I I, I, I think I just disconnected my rational part of uh, of the process and I just yeah I was just uh, surviving and, and keeping me in the, in the in the right energy and the right mood now sense. there's a, a little bit of controversy that's going on it's like all trending right now on Twitter yeah. about uh, Satan yeah the character that plays <laughs> Satan <coughs> the guy that plays Satan um, looks there people are saying that he looks a lot like President Obama I think that's which I did not see when I was watching yeah obviously. me neither I mean it's it's just hilarious I mean first of all there's no way you can do something like the Bible and not be controversial I mean it's impossible to please everyone it's yeah just you're gonna like, piss somebody off at some point sure yeah. <laughs> So I guess this is just uh, this is just the hilarious part of it. I think it's just funny. It is, it but is. now I feel like Obama has a new Halloween costume. <laughs> if he wants to, I mean, you know, it could yeah. be fun. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, the other thing that I did not realize is that CeeLo Green wrote some music on this in this show. CeeLo who? <laughs> you don't know him? No, I'm he's from that Portugal. guy. He's I mean, on the well, Voice. Who's you know? I know. Who he, is. he did a tremendous, uh, tremendous job with that music. How and did that? Is that all because of Mark Burnett? Did he just start pulling all his people in? I guess so. I guess CeeLo Green and me, we have the same body. So I guess <laughs> something is related to that. That feels yeah. good. Is that the kind of music that you listen to to get pumped for the show? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know that this is not the type of, of, of music that CeeLo Green did, uh, normally do, but uh, he did a tremendous job with this. I think he's just a wonderful uh, way of, you know, just taking the, the moment and uh, the show itself and just translate it to music. I think he did a tremendous job. Agreed.